Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Webster. Guess what I'm doing? I'm doing a tutorial on Sony Vegas. Ah, um, I did get it back, so that's pretty sick. Um, so yeah, I'm back doing tutorials, baby. Aw, oh, yeah. So, anyways, this is an intro. It's pretty simple. Pretty much like all my other intros are pretty simple. So let's figure out what we are making today. Okay, I hope you guys like it. Now, you're going to be interrupted by a second because I'm rendering out that first part of the video right now. So, you'll probably be interrupted somewhere in, in between this video. But, as you guys saw, it's pretty, it's, I think it's pretty cool. Like, I mean, I'm ki I was kind of out of ideas, so I just kind of went with it. I thought it turned out pretty cool. So, anyways, let's get into the tutorial. Uh, new, no, uh, wait a minute, guys. Sorry about this. I am actually going to save that. Alright. Alright, so anyways, once you open up Sony Vegas, you just go ahead and insert three video tracks, because that will be very helpful. And go ahead and insert some text, and put whatever you want. I'm just putting my name. That's what I pretty much always do. So then, uh, choose whatever font. Does not matter. And go to Properties. No, not property, sorry. Effects, and go to Draw Shadow, and feather that out all the way. Then, then you are done right there. Next, you want to go to... Uh, unfortunately, my background, you guys will not have... Oh, see, we're interrupted. Unfortunately, my background, you will not have, because this is a Riot Gear effect, and I'm not going to put a download link for it, and you will have to buy it if you want this, so sorry about that, but choose another one I'm pretty sure you guys can find another one I mean they're not that hard to find anyways so you just want to get that whatever picture you guys want to use I forgot which one I used there it is eh, there we go and go ahead and make go ahead and make the lengths of these a little bit longer because you will be using it and then once you get both these in there just go ahead and right click on the uh, first text and uncheck maintain aspect ratio same with the background that way it takes up the full screen and you won't have those black bars on the side and on top and stuff. So, once you get that, you can go to Event, Pan, and Crop. Oh, wait. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry, I forgot one thing. You want to go to the link in the description and it'll take you to a page like this. And this is the sound I use. It's the intro. You guys probably heard it before. It's on some movies. So, you just want to go ahead and download that, and then put that sound into Sony Vegas, which I will have to bring up right now. Uh, I'll minimize everything. Stupid Camtasia. And there it is. See, I did wipe everything out of me. And then, you just go ahead and put that down. Why, why did I say three video tracks? You don't even need three video tracks. And now, you're going to... Go ahead and extend the words out and the background out a little bit more. And now you want to listen to the sound. And you want to you want to mark you want to put a marker right where it hits its max. So right where it's like wherever you guys pretty much want. But the best way to do this is go ahead and mark it by pressing M on your keyboard. M as in mat. That way you can line everything up to be just right and stuff. So that's always nice. So once you do that, you want to go to Event, Pan, and Crop on the text part. And it'll bring up this. Go ahead and zoom out a little bit by uh, scrolling your scroll wheel on your mouse. And go ahead and zoom out. It does look weird, but you won't be able to tell this. So once you do that, go ahead and move this over so where you can see this uh, marker right here. And move this up until you get right even with that marker and just right click on the uh, box right here and rest oh man that's not what I want to press I want to press restore there we go okay then you can exit out of that and now when we watch it it comes forward it's very beautiful very beautiful so the next effect is ver is like a cool part so you want to go to video effects 
Oh god, that sounded nasty, I'm sorry. And you want to go to Gaijin Blur. And you want to select any kind of blur you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to select Medium Blur. And put that over the Webster part. And go ahead and set this to 0. Point, oops, that is a comma. 0. 0.188. Enter. And do the same for both of these. 0. 0.188. And then move this uh, little marker up here up again to be even with the uh, marker right here. And then just go ahead and set these down to zero. So now we have a pretty cool effect going for us. It's all blurry. Sorry, it's going to be kind of laggy in this, but you guys saw it. It's pretty cool. And now for the uh, light changing that I did, you want to go to, uh, where is it, bump map and select spotlight up flat so select that and click and drag that on top of the webster part and go ahead and move it move your little marker all the way until the webster becomes visible all right and then you want to move it all the way to the left this little bubble right here you want to move it all the way to the left now this is kind of up to you you don't have to do this part you could mess around with it make it your own and stuff but that's i think it's pretty cool and then you just want to move your little uh, frame thing right here, your little frame changer, to the end pretty much. Actually, we're going to short. Oh, God. We're going to shorten this up. Move it under 15 seconds because that's going to be a pretty long intro with just Webster showing. It'll be kind of stupid. So move it up just maybe like 10 seconds or something. And then move this light down into like the corner or wherever. It doesn't matter. Wherever you guys would like. And there you go. You are done. Now, I'm just going to shorten this up really quick. All right. Or actually, one more thing. You can add a fade at the end. Um, it's pretty basic. Or it, That's not really what you have to do, but you can if you want. So now, if we watch it. Pretty sweet, I think it is. Especially, it's it's especially nice. <laughs> Stutter. So, anyways, that is it, guys. And I I do apologize. I cannot give you the Riot Gear link just because I don't want to mess around with illegals and give you stuff for free that you would normally have to buy. So they're not that much. You can just go to VideoCopilot.net and buy them, or you can just find your own background. That's what I recommend. And anyways, before I go, you guys should totally check out our YouTube, our other YouTube channel at IDMSM. Uh, we do Call of Duty videos. We just uploaded our last montage. We're not professionals, so don't be all like, you suck. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. And we record with White Dazzles, so the quality's not like, oh my god. It's not like that. Nothing like that. So anyways, we don't, we're pretty much brand new to YouTube. We only have 50 subscribe, 54 high rollers over here. So, go ahead and subscribe to that, and subscribe to Webster. I am currently at 145 subscribers, I think, so that's pretty cool. So, anyways, do that. Have a great life, and talk to you next time.